Hey, how's it going guys? Jackson here with Toasty DIY. And today we're gonna be taking a look at kind of something a little bit uh, different for the channel, but this right here is something that made our lives a lot easier over at PC Bros. So uh, this is something you can actually pick up from Lowe's and it is a Gorilla Cart. And that's actually one of the, I think main brands that they carry um, for a lot of like their bigger wheelbarrows and kind of outdoor, um, you know, lawn and garden moving equipment. So this one here is basically the most expensive one they had, I believe. Um, and it was $149.99, which in my opinion for what you get really is not too bad of a price. So what exactly this is, is a zero turn wagon that does have pneumatic wheels. Um, it's an all steel frame. It's six cubic feet of moving space. It has removable sides, so you can make it a flatbed as well. Um, you can, so you can remove the sides, the back, the front, you can really remove any of it. Um, one of my favorite parts about this whole entire thing is that everything on this is metal. Literally the only thing that I found is not metal is the handle. Um, and even that is a very thick, uh, you know, some type of ABS plastic, but very thick and very well built. Um, all of the actual equipment that goes on this is uh, grade eight, um, you know, zinc covered bolts and uh, hairpins and whatnot. Um, all of the actual nuts and bolts in this thing are locking nylon, um, you know, on the actual thread to make sure that stuff doesn't come undone, which I really love to see. Um, you know, on a product like this, it's gonna constantly be moving and it's really awesome because it's it's pretty big, honestly. Like it's, it's uh, like I said, six cubic feet. Um, I would guess that it's probably close to five feet long. It might actually be uh, five feet long. Um, Cause I mean, it's, it's close to my height, I'd say. And one of my favorite parts is that even though it's this big, it's very maneuverable. And that's really just thanks to the, the zero turn capability. So you can basically, uh, take this and I mean look you can turn this without the rear wheels uh, moving at all so look how I was able just to do that without hitting uh, the door frame or anything and there, there's a lot of spaces like that especially in our little office space since we're not in like a warehouse environment um, it's a lot of space where you could use uh, zero turn to your um, advantage let's see if I can do this one-handed here to get into this doorway uh, because it, it does it takes a little bit of skill to drive you know and I haven't uh, used it much but um, for anyone who works for us, this is like life-saving, I'm sure. In just a second, I'll show you one of the other reasons we got it. So this is like our shipping and packing room uh, where we have a lot of boxes and whatnot. And this thing can uh, take up to a thousand pounds. Yeah, a thousand pounds is what it can take. So obviously most of you guys are, would be using this for garden work, but hey, I found another purpose for it and I'm sure some people have already done it. Um, but these really big wheels are awesome for if you're moving a bunch of boxes and you're going from indoors to outdoors, you need to go over some grass, you need to go over some little bumps or speed humps, whatever. Um, a normal cart with casters is not gonna do that well. So that's one of the other big reasons why I got this is because I needed something that could go outside really well um, and wasn't gonna you know tip and fall over as soon as it hit a bump so let's go ahead and go to the outdoor portion because i haven't even actually gotten to do this yet so you know a little bit excited for that um also it's nice that the handle can basically go all the way up if you need to because this right here is like one of the tightest spaces you're having to go through a hallway oh i forgot there was a little pipe there oops all right harder turn harder turn all right we got it this time so now go ahead and open our ramp door because we do have a ramp out here but we have a decent amount of obstacles we have a pretty decent sized hump that goes off of a little uh, lip right there we have some cracks we have a really big bump up there which i know none of this probably looks that bad you guys but uh trust me if you had a regular cart with like you know six seven inch caster wheels on like the solid ones uh this would not be fun of course this door is going to close when we go through here so i'm gonna have to get locked out for a minute but yeah, pulling this up here is just so easy. I mean, you have plenty of leverage. Um, you really could load this thing up with a few hundred pounds and really not break a sweat. And I'm curious too, this is a pretty good size uh, bump. So I'm gonna throw this in the tripod. Let's see what happens if we try to just go straight up the side for these. I believe they're 13 or 16 inch wheels. They're pretty, pretty decent size. Oh yeah, it's just like a Jeep. It's like four wheel drive with this thing. Um, but yeah, no, honestly though, like I said, it's, it's pretty sweet, honestly. Um, the fact that it's all metal, um, you don't have to worry about cleaning it or anything really too because it is, uh, you know, it's perforated metal. So you have um, holes for things to fall through and whatnot. So I guess for certain things, this would kind of suck. You know, if you're trying to move dirt, um, you'd need to put something flat on this or else it wouldn't be good for it. But um, for moving like larger scale gravel, rocks, um, other things like that, this would be pretty good. Now, and of course, you could technically hook this up to a trailer as well. I believe that's why they do um, a hitch pin like this is so that um, if you have a certain type of hitch attachment, 
you can attach this to like a riding lawnmower or even a vehicle. Um, obviously you're not gonna wanna use it on real roadways, but I forgot I walked myself out, so I have to go all the way back around. So we'll just finish the review out here. Yeah, overall though, this thing's really sweet. Um, like I said, a thousand pounds, so I, I can stand in it. And I weigh um, you know, about 160 and it's, it's not even denting. Obviously you don't wanna put like a ton of weight on these parts, it's really meant for a thousand weight along the main supports and uh, you know where the wheels actually attach and everything, but dispersed all the way across here yeah a thousand pounds this will definitely do it the only real thing you do have to keep in mind as far as like wear and tear is i honestly this thing is never going to break down but you do have tires that are i believe tubeless so easy to replace probably um but however i, I do think eventually the, these would you know get a hole in them or go flat or you know not hold air anymore essentially so usually smaller wheels like this are really easy to buy from like walmart lowe's wherever and i'm sure you can find them online as well like amazon or even through gorillas uh, if they have a website <clears throat> that's really the only thing on this whole entire wagon that i think would wear over time especially if you're using an outdoor so overall i'm really happy with it um i think it really helps our employees out a lot especially when they want to bring stuff out through this treacherous not really but you know it's just if you're carrying like five six boxes that have computers in them that each weigh 20 pounds you can't do it you're gonna have to do one at a time at least with this you can do them all at once and whenever i need to bring a bunch of case boxes in or whatever i can just load them up onto this thing bring them through the ramp and then we're good to go so overall i'm pleased with it hope you guys enjoyed today's video links in the description uh We'll probably just be like Lowe's website if i find any on amazon or anything there will be affiliate links and they will help us out if you purchase them so like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one